Now you can hear the rain, see the rain. Let's get back over to the Bob Mills Weather Center. Lacey, how are those storms this morning? We have severe storms. We're tracking severe storms across the state this morning, and we have multiple rounds. So this will be the first round, another round later today. And unfortunately, because of all that debris, like you were saying, Alexis is shot, that could become some flying projectiles later today. We hope that doesn't happen. But when you get winds over tornado, just stricken areas, that can be very dangerous. Not to mention folks are trying to get tarps on their roofs and trying to save whatever property they can from that damage. So you hate to see it, but that's what we're dealing with. And we do want to show you what's going on. So I want to show you links one. That's where we've got our graphics this no. morning as far as the radar presentation is concerned. Cassie Hyder is driving that. Our storm trackers are out. We have Hank Brown out. We also have Brandon Pennell out. We'll get their shots for you. And then the damage that you're seeing is from yesterday. That's from yesterday's severe weather. We have not had new damage overnight or this morning, but these storms could produce some damage later through the morning. So here's what's going on. We've got a supercell. This is a storm that has rotation with it. Hail threat up to quarter, maybe golf ball size hail coming into Canadian County. The rain that's going on in central and eastern sides of the metro, not severe. There's some lightning, some thunder for sure. Respect the lightning. And that's moving to the north. Nothing severe in northern or far western Oklahoma, just some showers. It's right along this leading edge that is quickly approaching central Oklahoma. This is severe. A wind and hail threat. We had a brief tornado a warning earlier this morning. That's with a storm that tightened up quickly. We hope we don't see that anymore. And we haven't in the last 30 minutes or so, but it is possible. Hank is closing in on the storm that's going to be moving through the eastern sides of Canadian County. Cassie has Next Gen Live on, and we'll kind of zoom in and start here. Go down to the south just a little bit, south of Hinton to Lakiba. Now moving out of Lakiba, head up to Cedar Lake, north of Coger. This is going to head up towards Calumet and eventually El Reno with quarter, maybe golf ball. Looks like it maybe has weakened just a little bit with the hail core. What does hail detector show here? Yeah, back down to maybe quarter uh, on the higher end. If you get golf balls, it wouldn't be very many. Most likely, this is more of nickel and dime size hail. And this cell has kind of taken off a little bit from the southern branch. And what that's doing is, is getting it lift more to the north. And not necessarily a good trend to have because if it gets out by itself, the tornado risk with it could be a little bit higher. But that's over Lukiba heading up towards Maeve and go to the south sides of Hinton and go to the north of Cedar Lake. The trend with that one is still more northerly, but the whole line is shoving to the east. New shower going up near Coger. We'll go down to the south from Gracemont to Anadarko, back down to Apache. Uh, Brandon Pennell is north of Elgin. We'll be checking in with our trackers here in just a little bit. They're in position monitoring these storms. Damaging winds coming into Apache and Elgin, back down to Lawton and Geronimo. We've got storms that are not severe further to the south, but let's go back to Lynx 2. I want to show you the tr storm track that we have of these storms because when does it move in to central Oklahoma? There you have it, moving from Hinton back to the north. This will put these storms in El Reno by about 542, Chickasha at 548, Tuttle at 551, Yukon at 558, Mustang at 6 a.m., Blanchard at 613, and Cassie has that coming into downtown Oklahoma City between 6 and 620 this morning. That means for rush hour, it looks messy. We will have a chance for hydroplaning. We'll have a chance for winds blowing things around and very heavy rain when this moves in and there still may be some small hail but this is really round number one so we'll go to links three and I'll show you the graphics Cassie's going to go through these because Cassie this is kind of the first round moving on in with more storms possible as we head into the afternoon and evening and with those a higher risk for severe weather and maybe even tornadoes Cass.